Hey everyone, so a lot of people ask me how I dye my hair and how it's so healthy and how I keep it, you know, this is pretty white. I have to redo some spots this week with a toner and get just all the way to its white potential, but normally it's white when I bleach it. So here is how I dye my hair. I do not have the bleach anymore because I throw it away when I'm done with it because there's cats in my house and it will kill them if they eat it. So basically what I do is I buy two packets, they're about this big, of well light bleach um, powder. It's not blue. Sometimes I buy different ones uh, depending on the price and what the people at Sally's tell me. That's where I buy my things. But um, so I take, I used to use 20 volume. And I use Sally's brands. But I used to use 20 volume. Ooh, look at me now. Now I'm super white. I'm keeping it. Um, this is what color my hair looks like in the uh, normal daytime. My camera is not going to show you how white it really is. But this is what I use. Um, well, this is what I used to use. I used to use 20 peroxide um, volume. But now... I use 40, so I have a bigger bottle. 40 lifts way more, and it bleaches your hair all the way out. Um, if you could find a 50, personally, I'd say just use it. I don't think they have anything higher than 40, but if you could find, like, a 60 or something, I wouldn't see the big problem. A lot of people say, oh, it's dangerous to use even 40, and I don't care. It doesn't do anything to my hair, um, so... I don't worry about it, but, um, my mom helps me because I can't, you know, see the back of my hair, but, uh, I make sure it's all through my entire hair. Um, if you ever forget a little spot, you can just sort of cover it with a lot of toner, put a lot of toner on it, because most likely it's going to get it because the bleach expands when it's on your hair, so it's going to reach, like, if I put bleach this far across my hair this part would still get it because it expands. So I bleach it with 40 volume and well light bleach. Um, and then I go take a shower, wash that out, get it out all good. Um, and then I towel dry my hair and let it dry completely to its complete dry. I don't wash it, um, but I let it dry completely all the way. So it is dry. And then, like, dry enough to, like, straighten it or something without it sitting. Then I take Manix Panics Virgin Snow. Manix Panics. Then I take Manix Panics Virgin Snow. And I put that all over. One jar is not enough to cover my head, so if you have longer hair than me, you're going to definitely need two jars. I didn't, I only bought one jar because I wasn't sure about it. And, I mean, that's why I need to retone it this week. So I take this and I put it all over. Um, this week I'm going to use a different toner. They come in like boxes um, in the dye areas of Sally's. But if you just look for the little pieces of hair samples that are sticking out, look for a white one, ask them about it, and then, you know, buy it. They're only like $4. That's not bad. Especially beings that I already have a big jug of peroxide. Okay, so after the toner is out, I still don't wash it for like two days because um, the Manic Panic will wash out. And another thing is I don't, if you're just trying to achieve white, you should achieve white that way. But I don't just have white in, if you noticed. Something else I do to get it more white is um, I use Manic Panic's. Atomic Turquoise in the front, which I have to redo. Um, it's not all... You can kind of see it. It's kind of... It's not exactly there to its full potential at the moment, but I put this under my bangs, and how I do that is I just take my hair here, and I pull it... I don't know why it looks so red. I pull the upper layer. See, you can see it now. I pull the upper layer up and I pin it back to the side and I put it on there and then I keep 
a mixed version of snow in it to make it a lighter turquoise because Manic Panic's turquoise turns green. I think from personal experience. But um I do that and I put that on. And then I leave whenever I use Manic Panic, some people they're like, Oh, you only have to leave it on for an hour. Even though it says fifteen minutes, use it for an hour because that's a really long time and it'll be strong. No, honey. I don't leave it on for less than four hours most of the time. Whenever a normal time that I leave Manic Panic in is six to eight hours. I don't play around with it because if I'm putting a 